Okay, so I got this power supply here, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this whole video on my cell phone, and hopefully it'll turn out well. So, it's burnt out, I needed a project box, so I thought, you know what, let's use this. So, recycling items you already have, and turning them to something new, and uh, here we go, I'm going to tear it apart and uh, see what we got here. Okay, so I cracked it open. The first thing I did was I removed the fan from the port here. Then I hooked it up to my bench power supply here. Checked it out on 3.8 volts. It's spinning. It's actually putting out a little bit of air here. Pretty decent. I even put it up to 4.9 volts, so just under 5 volts. And that's a sufficient amount of air coming through there now. So I'm going to use this case here for housing a Raspberry Pi project. And uh, we're gonna have a switch on there to switch between 3.3 and 5 volt. Uh, that should be uh, pretty nice. Then we could go into uh, a quiet mode and then have the fast mode. Now we got the power supply completely out. I did remove the a couple of the plugs on the back here. I did keep the power switch though. We're going to try to reuse that and we are going to keep the ground for the case. I might put that back in but I'm thinking we're going to build something else for these two slots here uh, for the Raspberry Pi, either an HDMI and then uh, um, maybe a micro uh, USB and uh, audio port jacks on here not too sure quite as of yet but uh, i'll see what i have and see what uh, is going to work we might just have to do it by 12 volt uh or 5 volt uh um barrel jack so we'll see what happens so far i got a empty box with a good fan on it so now if i want i can start with building a platform and then screw that in and uh, start my build. So yeah, we'll just keep going. All right, so I think I figured it out. I've got uh, one of these uh, voltage meters here. I think I might actually incorporate that into it. Um, and then down here, I'll have the fan controller so we can switch between 3.3 and five volts and then have the main power supply for the Raspberry Pi here, or the on-off button here. And then we can have this as the front. Uh, mind you, air will be coming out of here, but uh, then I can actually just use the existing hole in the back there and run the uh, power and HDMI cable and audio cable through the back there, and then that way it's out of the way. So that's it so far. All right, so we finally got the plate for inside the power supply done. I will probably add some stuff to it, but for now, that looks pretty good. I'm going to get that taken off the bed here and cleaned up and put in and uh, Raspberry Pi mounted to it. So be back in just a second here. Looking at this, I'm thinking I should have actually put the standoffs for the Pi mount uh, over to the left a bit more. I think it might be a little tight over here. And it looks like my screw holes for the mounting plate do not want to line up, so I'm going to have to uh, redo those. But for now, that should do the trick uh, so I can get the other stuff going. And then I'll have to just play with it in uh, sketch up there and uh, get things to where I want them. As far as uh, layout here, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. But uh, I think I will see what I can come up with here shortly. So we got uh, our switch here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to get that wired up. We have uh, so we can run the 3 and the 5 volt off of it. So that way we can do the cooling on the fan. Uh, I'm just going to get everything soldered up. And then I'm going to do uh, 
I'll do this guy here. Uh, I'll put this guy in the empty spot there, and then we'll use this to, uh, for now, I'll just hook it up for the fan, so that way we can tell uh, how much voltage uh, we have going to the fan versus uh, the Raspberry Pi. So we're just going to plug that in via the uh, micro USB for now. All right, so I finally got it wired up. Uh, so this is how I made the switch here. Uh, I just used that switch that I was going to use there. Um, anyways, here's the wiring for it. So if you look here, we have our two center poles here. Let me see if I can get in on that. So the two center pins here are actually the output so we can do our 3.3 uh, right here um, I don't know right here so we got our three uh, three volt line there and then we got our five volt line down here and then this is our output here so I can switch now between that, that one and the other one let me just show you here So it is switching. Uh, the power lights on the board aren't actually turning off. So I might have to see if uh, it's actually turning the machine off when it's uh, powered on. So, but on startup, we can now at least select if we want the quiet mode or if we want the higher volume output to the fan. And if this thing would stay focused, that would be great. So now that we've tested it on the Raspberry Pi 2, we can go ahead and put it in on the um, Pi 3. Originally, I didn't know what the pinout for this was, so I was like, oh, I'm going to try. Anyways, long story short, I should have looked, but... Anyways, let's start getting, uh, I think the next thing up is building a housing for this guy, but I want to test the actual um, unit to see if uh, the video output, when switching, it doesn't get interrupted. Alright, so I was just checking out my, this is my original. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move these guys over here in a bit, but uh, I need to make a mount for my um, display for the voltage for the fan. So I'm going to go ahead and design that up and then get that printed. So uh, yeah, let's get that done now. All right, so the 3D printer's warming up. I just finished up my cover here. I'm just kind of done it up here and uh yeah we'll see uh what this little guy does if it'll house the uh, my display like i want it to hopefully it does if it does great if not well back to the drawing board this is 20 minutes of printing that hopefully doesn't go to waste i think my nozzle's down a little too close Oh well, it'll have to do. Three D printer music. All right, so we got this guy all printed up. Uh, needs a little bit of cleanup, but uh, I had to file around the insides a bit. I think I printed it a little too small, but uh, for now. I'll just have to uh, use what I got. The screw holes, unfortunately, don't line up 100%. So once again, we're just going to grab the old Dremel and make it fit and see how it looks. But uh, right now, this guy is pressure fitted in there. There's nothing holding on to it. So uh, we should be able to get that in there and uh, the screws to hold it in. 
All right, so we got the new display in there. It looks pretty good. I reprinted this guy out. The one before this guy here, well, it was a little too much off and looked like garbage when it was done. So now we have our three and our five volt fan switch here so we can switch between uh, low and high speeds. Um, so right now, the this button is not being used. Um, I'm going to do something with that at some point here, but right now we just have uh, everything wired up here and then down here. I just have that uh, meter being uh, pressure fitted in there for now. And then we got the wiring down here for the, the fan switch. So we'll figure out something for this guy here. I think I'll do the power on and off with that. Uh, that way if uh, you do have the Pi plugged in and it does lock up, you're able to manually shut it down. But uh, I'll see. Another thing is I got these goal posts here, these football posts. Um, yeah, I'll have to order some screws in to make that fit a little bit better. But it does have a nice uh, gap underneath, so some uh, won't get too hot underneath there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get this guy on, and then maybe later on, maybe I'll add some uh, LED lighting or something in here, make something a little bit better, and do a little bit more with the wire management here. All right, so we got it all put together, screws back in the top. Got the two wires coming from the back, one for HDMI, one for power. I'm gonna go ahead, plug it in, and see if we can get something on screen. Oh. Looks like I have a cable that needs to be adjusted in there. But so far, looks like we're booting up. There we go. So there we go. We got a Raspberry Pi and that's a lot of, that's a lot of air coming out of there. That's quite impressive just off of the three volts. Let's see if it will shut off if I go to the five. No, she works. Not bad. Okay, I'm going to fix that wire. All right, I was digging through my one drawer and I found some rubber feet, so I thought I'd put those on there. And now, as you can tell, it's a lot quieter while the uh, actual uh, wires aren't touching it there. But we got the Raspberry Pi in there. I got to do some cable management yet. Um, so yeah, there we go. And uh, I have to turn the switch there into a power switch. We've got our little 3D printed uh, uh, voltage meter here. And then the 3 to 5 volt uh, switch here. And I'm not going to lie, that puts out a lot of air. So I'm going to be quite interested to... Uh, see uh, what kind of uh, cooling this does compared to, uh, you know, something like that. Um, and that one's just a self-made one with a 5-volt fan on it. So I do have to put uh, the proper power supply on this. Right now I'm running it off of the hub from my Pi 4 over there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions what I should put in here, let me know in uh, the comments below. Uh, and uh, we'll try to do something cool with it. So that's it for me for now. Thanks for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?